Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to talk about software and uh, which software I use to uh, get all my stuff ready for Unreal Engine. And it's quite a lot, to be honest, but uh, it's also what uh, this channel is going to be all about. I'm going to be releasing a lot of tutorials explaining exactly how I do things from uh, start to finish, filled with lots of tips and tricks. So if you're interested in that, be sure to uh, like and subscribe, and uh, there will be much more of this content coming. So this is about my work for the Epic Fab Marketplace. I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to go over there and uh, support me. It would be very much appreciated. So my background is from the VFX uh, industry. I've been an environment artist for many years, uh, working for companies like DNEG and Framestore and a few other places, uh, doing Marvel movies, etc. So my favorite uh, and absolute core program is Houdini. So let's take a look at that first. Now Houdini is uh, my main program where I try to get everything important done. So it's also my layout program. I import all the meshes and everything. In here I got some uh, rocks from the Icelandic Canyon uh, project. And I can easily just line them up uh, here and assign different attributes, textures, etc. and export them out as FBX. I also do cleaning operations and all kinds of stuff. Now Houdini is of course a very advanced program used mainly for VFX but more and more becoming even the hub for um, in uh, in VFX production at the bigger houses. So it's a very important program to know and learn, but it's endlessly deep and can be very intimidating and uh, complex. But I do love it. I think it's uh, maybe 3D's best software out there. But everything here is, uh, this is the core of what I do. But before it ends up in Houdini, I need to get my photogrammetry done. So I will collect all my images and import them into Reality Capture and generate my mesh there. Now Reality Capture is an absolutely amazing program. It's, in my opinion, the best photogrammetry software out there. When it was released uh, a couple of years back, it blew every competition out of the way. It was just so much better. The details were just crisp. You got sharp edges and uh, no blobby surfaces. And it was an absolute game changer. And it's absolutely fantastic that Epic has now made this free to use for everyone. It's, um, I can't understate how big of a deal that actually is. It used to cost an absolute fortune, like uh, you had to buy a new car each year in order to operate this program. And even at the studios I worked at, it was like uh, you had to have permission to do, go down into the basement where they had one of these installed and, uh, and use it from there. So it is a big deal that we now can use it at home without uh, paying a lot of money or any money at all. So fantastic. I do my photogrammetry here and then I export it into Houdini for the cleanup and once it's done in Houdini I will go to my second most important um, and favorite program. Well maybe third, I'm, it's all the core programs these. Now 3D Coat is one of those uh, true dark horses in uh, 3D graphics. It's been around for a very very long time and uh, it's never really gotten the recognition it deserves. I think it's an absolutely amazing program. And it doesn't really cost that much. You can uh, get it for a hundred bucks. And the things it does is very unique. And for photogrammetry, it's absolutely spectacular. So let's say here I've imported uh, one of my models into 3D Coat. And what you do is that uh, you will voxelize it. So you turn all of this into a volume, which makes it so much easier to uh, clean it up. So you can see here, if I want to remove these things here, I can just go in and uh, easily just smooth this out. And now it's gone. Instead of uh, doing something like a very complex and I can also sculpt away. Instead of doing a very complex uh, cutting maneuver in uh, polygon mode. I can just get all of this away and it works like magic. It's actually a ton of fun to do the cleanup like this. And uh, for me, this is absolutely key to get stuff done or else it would just take too long to clean it up perfectly. So other things that it can do, it's also an excellent texture. Uh, it's, it's different, but almost in the same class as uh, substance a painter. Now, they are different. Uh, Painter is much more procedural and uh, well, it's, uh, 
uh, three quarters more of an artistic approach but you can do similar things and if I just want to paint in missing patches here. Uh, it works absolutely perfectly. It's all I need and it goes fast and uh, it's very intuitive. So I love that. And the third thing that it's absolutely amazing for is uh, the UV mapping. So I'll definitely show that in uh, future tutorials. But the, the UV mapping here is just the way I want UV mapping to work. It's uh, absolutely spectacular and I really, it almost brings fun into UV mapping, believe it or not. Next up is uh, speed tree. Well, whenever you do foliage, it's kind of hard to not use a speed tree. Now I can replace a lot of this by doing it in uh, Houdini and I will eventually build up my tool set in Houdini to uh, replace uh, yeah, as good as everything that I can do in uh, speed tree. But for now, it's uh, it's a very key software because let's say you have your trunk here uh, photogrammetrized, scanned, and you want to put uh, the rest of the tree on. You can easily do this in Speed Tree. You just do the necessary operations and then you build the tree up from there. There are certain limitations to this, of course, but uh, it works pretty well how it uh, how you expect it to to work and. In my opinion, it's probably the best option out there to get stuff on top of your photogrammetry. So that's why it's an absolute key program to use. Blender. Now there are certain things that Houdini are, is not very good at. And one of them is modeling, modeling traditional modeling, um, like uh, hard surface modeling and that kind of stuff. It's excellent with procedural modeling, but when you want that extra kind of control, it does get a bit... Uh, uh, cumbersome with Houdini and a normal program like uh, Blender is much better suited for that kind of stuff. So that's where I'm using Blender for all these kind of normal operations and sometimes also for UV mapping where um, um, where it fails either uh, in uh, in Houdini or in uh, 3D coat. You can move around a couple of islands and things like that. And it's also an excellent renderer and of course it can also do all kinds of stuff that any normal program could do. And it's free. It's a fantastic program. It's really come of age uh, the last couple of years and it's used in studios more and more. Uh, you still have to sideload it though. It's not integrated into any pipelines uh, because it's open source and uh, that makes it hard to integrate into pipelines and write tools to it. Because as soon as you write a tool you actually have to share it on the open source market which studios are not that keen on doing. But there's almost always an option to sideload it and use this. And most people would use something other than uh, Maya or something like that to get their modeling done. You just need the more powerful uh, software. So I do recommend picking Blender up and using it as uh, a staple in your arsenal. Now, ZBrush is an absolute legend of software. It's been around for yeah, what seems like forever. I got a copy, could be almost 20 years ago now, and I never had to pay a dime for it until it was bought up by Maxon and now it costs an absolute fortune. And that's why I'm staying at the 2022 version. And let's be honest, not much has happened since 2010 anyways. Still the same program and it's a fantastic program. So nothing beats a ZBrush when it comes to sculpting the feel of the brushes, etc. It's just amazing. So I would use this for a final sculpts and that kind of thing. But I also use it for uh, reprojecting my high resolution models. So what I would do is I um, recreate a low poly mesh here and then I put some levels in it in the geometry here and I export a low uh, less resolution mesh into 3D coat for uh, UV mapping and then bring it back in and then up the resolution again. So I got 40 million polys with UVs. So I'll probably make a tutorial of exactly how I do that in the future, but that's what I use the ZBrush for. Fantastic software, but I hope I can replace it with uh, something like Blender in the future, because uh, the prices from Maxon is a bit outrageous, I think. Uh, other programs that uh, are useful is, of course, an image editor. I use Photoshop, but I do recommend picking up something like Affinity. It's uh, a bit cheaper and you skip that pesky subscription and it does do the job. Here I've uh, scanned in some um, foliage uh, and that's mainly what I use it for, manipulating my textures and uh, creating these uh, scanned foliage textures, etc. But I also need a place to um, 
collect all my photogrammetry images. And for that I use Lightroom. In order to collect all the images, uh, you need something like Lightroom uh, to store them all. It's so you can, uh, when you import hundreds and maybe thousands of images, you need a way to quickly look through them and give them a rating, see which one is blurry, which one needs to be deleted, and which ones... Uh, uh, you need to bring up the shadows, adjust the exposure, etc., etc. So it's prep work for the photogrammetry. And it's also a good library. You can see easily where uh, all uh, your uh, uh, photogrammetry projects are, so you can find them. It does get messy when you have like a couple of hundred objects scanned. It's, uh, you need a way to find it. So I do recommend something like Lightroom. Um, there are others out there, and uh, I am looking into maybe picking up something like Darktable to get it for free. It uh, would be nice to get out of the Adobe suite somehow, but it's uh, very, very hard to do. When it's been through all of those programs, it's finally time to bring it all into Unreal Engine, and this is uh, the most fun part there is. Just seeing the world coming together, all the assets that you've built, and just bringing it in and it's so much fun to work with it's uh, the amount of detail you can get in real time is just staggering this was a dream a couple of years ago you could never imagine that uh, you could do anything like this so it's a ton of fun and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation on what software you need to use to get to uh, this kind of point or which software I'm using at least so I think next time I'm going to talk more about uh, hardware not only which computer you need to get but uh, which camera and the other equipment you need for uh, photogrammetry if you're into that kind of stuff so if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe i would appreciate it a lot and i'll uh, see you around next time